Maybe it was the thrill that came from always hovering on the edge of discovery. Maybe it had to do with being on the literal edge of the country and a continent away from the old rule. But by the mid-1960s, the Santa Clara Valley was about as charged a place as any physicist or engineer could ever hope to find. We talk about the early era of Silicon Valley as being cowboys and Indians and the Wild West show, and it really was. It was a wild time. People just drank too much. I just remember the three gin and tonics should have been my limit. And the bar of choice was the wagon wheel. We just got in the habit of going over there for a beer on the way home. Sometimes it was more than one. It was very, very crowded. Everybody from presidents and CEOs down to line workers and everything in between. It got to be a hangout, not just for Fairchild people, but the spin-offs from Fairchild. I mean, we all worked together, even though we were competitors. We'd go in there and everybody was bragging about, I took that job away from you down there at Hughes, you know. You guys had it and I took it away. I mean, it was just a marvelous environment of young guys having a good time competing with each other. Conversations were just rampant about the latest sputtering device or the latest piece of epitaxial equipment. It was almost like a salon. <laughs> you know, everybody talking about what was going on who was working where, who was doing what. You could make friends or lose friends at the wagon wheel. I mean, it was a, a hub of networking. There were always a lot of girls from the factory there, too, uh, which is not all good. There was a lot of hanky-panky going on. I remember thinking that the divorce rate was probably 150%, not just 100%, because a lot of the second marriages didn't make it either. We just all were very excited about building our business, building an industry. So there was a sense that we were all in it together. Well, what was good for one was good for all. 